three, one. Oh, I blocked your face. Oh. Looks like you punched <laughs> I looked me. Like I punched you. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I am here with. McKenna. McKenna from XO McKenna. Um, I think you guys kind of saw in my last video, which was a kitchen makeover video, and I featured a clip with her because we went, we actually met last week, and we found out that we live next door to each other. Right down. Literally the next door. Not actually, but we probably live like a two-minute drive. Maybe. Maybe. You guys were like commenting and sending us like DMs and stuff that you yeah. were like so excited. So we're like, oh yay! Let's okay. do it. So today we are at a thrift store. We're at which thrift store is this? Share ourselves. Share ourselves, the thrift store, and we are going to be doing a thrift flip over on my channel, which is kind of like your my specialty. Thing. Like I've been doing yes. a lot of thrift flips You're lately. You're a famous thrift flipper. Yeah. Oh. A, a thrift flip fanatic. And on your channel, we're, we're doing an IKEA hacks video, which is kind of like my thing to do. So we're kind of like flopping. Flopping, we're flipping, flopping we're flip flopping are kind of like main videos. Not main yeah, videos, so but like the ones we do a lot of. Yeah. And what I'm known for, we're gonna swap them. We're gonna swap them, and, and they're both gonna be up at the same time. So you guys go and definitely watch. go check out yeah, McKenna's watch. video. And then if you're coming from McKenna's video, um, hello. Hi. I post brand new home decor and DIY content every single week, just like McKenna. So you can subscribe down below, click that bell icon. But I think we should just like run inside yeah. and get okay. started. Yeah. Okay, immediately upon walking in, we see this. I don't like the glass top. I'm not a huge fan of glass tops. I don't know why. Yeah, like, look, Just like not very chic, but like, look at that. We're gonna leave this by the front door, though, yes. and check other things out. We're on an adventure. Yeah. yeah. I do need that, actually. Oh my gosh, we found this. This is hideous. So whoever had this in this house, luckily they got rid of this. It's all like sun damage. It's like sun. It, this is probably like outdoor furniture, don't you think? Yeah, probably probably. outdoor. But I thought what we can do is do the same concept. So maybe we can like sand down the wood and then redo like a woven top for it, but maybe out of a different fabric or a leather or a faux leather or something along the lines of that. Yes. This would be, oh, and only $10. We've also found a lot of these really cool magazine holders. Is that yeah. what this is? Yeah. 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 And you did it right from the oh, whoa. It's so cool. We're thinking that we can deconstruct this and use the wood and maybe make something else out of it. Gosh, what is this? Oh my gosh, there's contact paper too. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, oh wait. It kind of looks really pretty. It looks like it should go on like a ceiling, you know? Like a ceiling. Ooh. Like we can definitely do something with this. What is that? It looks like we're in a scary movie. Like this room is it's kind of scary. If anyone knows what this is, please comment it below because we have no idea. <laughs> this is the other one that I was talking about. Okay, we have grabbed all of the items. This one, this one, this one, this one. How does LA get so dark now? This is crazy. Okay guys, I wanted to share with you. This is how much I ended up spending. $26.16 on all four of these items. So we're gonna have a substantial amount of projects in this video, hopefully. We're gonna hope they turn out good, but you never know. So we're gonna head to Ikea to go buy stuff for McKenna's video right yeah! now. Yeah, Ikea! All right, guys, so it is the next day. We're actually at McKenna's apartment right now. Oh, look at the <gasps> And we are going to start with our DIY projects. And typically, I do, like, voiceovers for mine. Yeah. But I didn't want to do a voiceover because I just wanted us to actually, like, just, like, have fun with it. And, and not, kind of interact while we're Yeah, interact and, like, just actually share with you guys our thoughts of making the projects. All right, so the first project that we are doing is actually with this little magazine holder, but you can really use it for whatever you want to. And we found this at the thrift store. Mm -hmm. It was $12, but it was actually half off because all the Such furniture was half off, so it was $6. I feel like this just kind of dates it. I'm not like, in love with this kind of ridge, ridge. look. Yeah, it looks like bamboo, mm -hmm. which I just think it, take, it just doesn't look like the vibe. I'm going to firstly just tape off these sections here on the front and the back side, and then we can take it outside and spray it. Your papers and kind of piss it off. Oh. <gasps> it's so pretty! Oh my oh. 
Oh. We are professional tapers. Look at wither. Look, look at the other side of it. Oh, that literally looks amazing. So then I picked up this rope at Joanne's Fabrics and I just got a yard of it and I'm going to attach this to this top section here instead of that wood piece we had. I'm also just going to glue this down with hot glue because I'm going to use this in my actual apartment and I know not to pick it up by the handle, it's just more of a decorative feature. Seems heated. leaving the tape on here just to really hold it in place we're gonna finish it off with some smaller macrame cording yes it's I just got in my DIY size. studio Okay, so this was a project that I honestly was not really gonna include in this video because I was like, literally all we're doing is spray painting something, which we kind of already did that with a magazine holder you guys already saw, but this was one dollar at Goodwill. Because it was Green Day, Green Day, Dollar Thursday. Green Day, the band. $12.99 at Goodwill, which yeah. is kind of a lot for this. Um, and it's ceramic. I thought it was wood at first, but it's ceramic. So I like this vibe. I think it looks very anthropology esque. I want to actually spray it just pure white because I think it would make it a lot more clean, but it still has a lot of detail in it. Totally. Uh, so this project's super simple, but I'm really excited to see what the outcome looks like. I feel like it's just going to change the whole vibe of it. And I think the detail is going to show a lot more Should, once it's yeah, white. Scrunch it around there and then just tape it. Using this rust -oleum. paint was touched two times, ultra cover, paint and primer, also bonds to plastic, first drying, non yellowing, UV resistant, wood metal plastic, and more compared to the rust -oleum general purpose paint, white spray paint. <laughs> So for the next project, I got this stunning wallpaper, so which pretty. just reminds me of like a Parisian home. Like I feel like this would go on the ceiling. It's just so, so pretty. The roll was $5 and there's actually a lot on here and we're only gonna use a little bit for this project. I'm gonna try to use the least amount of wallpaper that I can, that way I can reserve a lot of it. So I'm kind of just gonna cut here-ish because it's not gonna even, I'm gonna do the side separately. So I can't wrap it all. So I'm gonna lightly just mark here, because I'm gonna cut on the inside of this anyway. All right, so I marked center on the back of this little wallpaper piece. That way, when we glue this down, we can kind of like glue it and know kind of where the center point is. Okay, so we're gonna go back and exacto knife around these little edges so that it makes a really clean, sharp edge. Clearly I didn't do a good job, but <laughs> a tip I used to do all the time when I did, like I used to cover boxes like this all the time when I did scrapbooking, just take the sandpaper and literally go along here and it will perfectly oh. break everything off up to that wood. See how that looks pretty? Oh, wow. Good and fresh, like if we go right across here. In like a downward motion. Downward motion, so wood area. So 
we matched up the pattern on the front side of the box here. As you can see, we matched up as good as we can. It looks pretty decent. Pretty good. Yeah. Okay, let's jump into the project that's probably the most tedious one, but it's not going to be too bad, so do not worry about that. That, like, Ikea piece that we found that was $10 at the thrift store, and we are going so to good. flip this to be kind of like a coffee table ottoman footrest situation. I'm just going to figure out what to use it for, basically. Ew, this is my bad side. Okay. All right, we're going to start by cutting off the green, mm -hmm. because the green is just not good. So let's just give it a quick little snip. <gasps> so satisfying. So satisfying. And, and we're going to pull, pull it, it out. Wow, that's been, this has been this through has some This has been pre-owned. So we were gonna go in with a flathead screwdriver and actually pry each of these little staples out. That's gonna take a while, but if you yeah. have the patience for it, you it, could. You could, but, but we, you could yeah. also just snip it. Snip it, we're just gonna cut it super, super close, like this, as close as we can, and you're not, gonna, not, you're not gonna see the bottom. Anything. I'm just gonna quickly take off this portion so that way we can sand the legs of the piece. Okay, we're gonna take this sandpaper and we're going to sand down the legs and just give it a better stain because this one's a little bit too light um, for this style that we're going for. And this looks like one of the better quality wood pieces from Ikea that you can actually put better stain on. Yeah. We are going to be using this early American stain, which is the one I used in my kitchen makeover video uh, because it's so pretty and I think it's going to look really nice on here. cutting all the strips of leather or pleather here they are pleather Pleather. we cut a total of 22, 22 oh, we need 21 one and a half inch by 26 inch oh no she's pretty her So these strips are one and a half inches wide by 26 inches long, and now we are going to be stapling them and weaving them. So we're probably gonna staple them all in one direction first, and then weave it in the other direction. It's like a race. It really is. I'm gonna win. <laughs> I won. Maybe towards them. Okay. Oh wait. So you guys can see it first. <gasps> this looks so luxury. This is it's literally so luxurious. Much it looks so good. Just like a little bit of adjustment. Yeah, now. and it's good. Oh my goodness! That was 
today's video. Those were the thrift flips. I think they actually turned out incredible. Like so every good. single project, I was kind of doubting like the box idea. I was like, oh, maybe the box won't turn out good or maybe the lamp won't look good white, but everything like so turned good. out really, really great. And over on McKenna's channel, we actually did a DIY Ikea hacks, which I know you guys love those videos from me. So he was we, showing me his weight. I was just, and you were showing me your waist with the thrift yeah. flips. So we kind of like swip, swip, flip flopped video oh, ideas yes. <laughs> um and it was just a lot of fun filming with mckenna and we've actually only like known each other for like a week and a half but i feel like i've known you for like 300 years literally yeah. yes. and we live so close to you i know so it's so nice so you'll definitely be seeing more videos from us soon in the future yeah. and definitely give this one a thumbs up and don't forget to check out mckenna's video below subscribe to her channel subscribe to my channel turn on the bells for both of our do channels do all of those things do all the bits and all the bobs because we post every single sunday both of us post on sundays yes so you're gonna get a lot of content on sundays but it's the best day it really truly is Thank you guys for watching. Have an amazing rest of your day, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!